what's up everybody this is your boy Lemon and Versus and as you can see we're back at the whiteboard and right here we're gonna go over over more advanced internal rhymes and you know what I like this I think I'm gonna call this CRT critical rap theory all right first up on critical rap theory we got Lil Wayne featuring Jewel Santana on a track called Bloody Mary it's a great track you should um, treat yourself to it now in this verse Lil Wayne starts off Suicide is suicide. Tell them seek and you will find. Cause I'ma lose my mind. Kick a nigga's ass, then give him my shoes to shine. It's do or die. I come from where we used to crime. The Uzi nine is more important than school supplies. Great verse, by the way, obviously. And here you can see he got all his rhymes where this the A B pattern. Or excuse me, it's the B, the all on the end. It's the advanced intern right here. You got all of these that rhymes. You got the mind, the shine, rhyme, and supplies. And then he starts it off with suicide. And this is the advanced level of Lil Wayne. He doesn't just rhyme the whole word. He rhymes syllables. That's that's the, that's the really high high level writing and just lyricists right there. Only the greats does that. And a lot of people does that now. They just don't know they do it. But once once you guys see it, you're gonna be like, wait a minute, I vaguely do that here and there but anyway like I, like I said he he rhymes with the um, syllables in the word instead of just the whole word like sue he got the sue you do uzi shoes use school and then with the side he got as I said before with the fine mind shine crimes and supplies and also we got nine right here and as you can see here is a b a b a b and then you got the A straight down and the B. You can almost see where it's, it looks like it's sort of playing where you can see. You can actually see where it's divided up. Where he almost knew he was going to have the B's on the end. Or it's going to be like a um, A B pattern on the end like that. Where it's going to look something like that. He almost like that this way. It's like A B A B like that. And it looks like he did it in the beginning too, same thing, or like it's A B A B A B A B and so on and forth and so forth like that. Alright, now right here in his next quadrant, he goes on to say, the pools is dry, my niggas and the fools is fried, the news is lied, the pigeon is too spooked to fly. The rules deny all the toughest goons is mine. That tune to slime, they will kill you and go and do the time. And he continues on with the same, with the same A B in the beginning and in the end pattern, as you can see. And then again, he just it just spits right down the middle, where it's A B, A B all the way down. Lyrics A B, lyrics A B, right here. And just the same thing, just keep this thing. Oh shit. And he just keeps that same thing going all the way down. And there's also some other rhyming words in here that I chose to let fly, but I, I didn't want to complicate things, right? Like niggas and pigeons and stuff like that. That also went up with the other um, parts of the verse that I didn't talk about when he said, um, kick a nigga's ass, then give him my shoes to sign. Give him my shoes to sign. The kick a nigga, gonna go with the other nigga and pigeons. Those are all rhyming words that's lined up in the middle. So it's almost like a A, B, and a C pattern down in the middle, too. Like that. But yeah, and that right there is Critical Rap Theory with Lil Wayne featuring Jewel Santana on Bloody Mary. Go check that out. That is Advanced Internals. With Lil Wayne, it might be super advanced internals. I don't know what to call it. But that is it for this. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me what you think. Y'all stay true. Peace. I'm out. What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Lim the Versus, and we're back at the white boy, which is slowly becoming my new favorite thing. But anyway, we continue on. We continue on with Lil Wayne's Bloody Mary featuring Jewel Santana in this edition of Critical Rap Theory. He continues on the same verse, and it goes to say, We unified, young money revolutionized the new design. We had to leave the flukes behind and supersize the numbers through the roof and sky. Don't look too surprised. Look Look through the lines, I'm making moves and strides, grooves and vibes, I'm too alive. These hoes need to be supervised, they put on a cute disguise, you grooms is blind. She get dig in the Uber ride, number two with fries. 
And he just continued on with his greatness and it's just fucking bar at the bar at the bar. But here, I actually can see I broke it down a little bit more. Well, uh, actually, what I did was I unchanged the color a little bit because in the other video, probably the other two videos, it was the um, the red was A and B was blue. I switched it up to A is blue and red is B. It's just a thing that I was doing that I had got confused. I said, you know what, this is easier. But anyway, don't worry about that. So anyway, it goes on and he continues on like the, the first line in the, in this bar. He goes on, we got we unified and revolutionized a new design. That is a simple A, B, A, B, A, B pattern. As you can see, we got unified, revolutionized, and new design. And also, when you listen to this, uh, tell you know on how he uh, stressed these syllables that he rhymes right here. We unified, young money, revolutionized the new design. See, he um, accentuates those rhyming words. That's something that I need to remember to do. I always forget to do that. But anyway, continue on with the second line. We had to leave the flukes behind and supersize the simple A, B, A, B pattern with flukes, super, and behind and size are the hind and size in those two words. In the, le in the next line, the dumbers through the roof and sky. And that one is just the uh, simple A, A, B pattern. It's just through roof and sky, which I'm going to talk about this a little bit later because this may seem like a one-off pattern but it's actually not he actually does this again i think i saw that somewhere but anyway but anyway what was that uh through the roof and sky and the next line he goes on to say don't look too surprised don't look too surprised look through the lines it's also like don't look too surprised, look through the lines. But anyway, look to that's the A A B A A B pattern, which it sounds kind of odd at first, but once you look at it in the grand scheme of thing, he still got in that that same wall. It's just a little kind of off a little bit because it's not quite lined up. It's probably the way I read it. But anyway, we making moves, we making moves and stride, grooves and vibes. You got moves, grooves, and strides and vibes, and that's just a simple A B A B pattern. Which he mixes, he mixes up really well between complex and I don't want to say simple pattern, but more like intermediate patterns. In the next line, he say, "I'm too alive. These hoes need to be supervised." And then that is a A B A A B pattern with the last one that's being left off on the end. It's not quite which he rhymes it back with the uh, fives and lies, even though he used the A three times, he did the same thing. In where is it at up here? Oh, I forget all that, but anyway, I'm um, too alive. These hoes need to be supervised. That is a simple A B A A B pattern. Which at first I had it where like this B by itself, I think this is just the A A B pattern where this these are grouped together. That's one like little pattern right here. Right here was A A B. Anyway, then he goes on to say they put on the cute disguise. He grooms is blind. That that line is A A B A B pattern, which remember he uh, left this B off before. So now it's just like he be turning favorite, and it's almost backwards because this one's is an A B A A pattern, and this was an A A. B A pattern, so that's just the genius intellect of Wayne. Whether he meant to do that or not, it's it's, it's awesome. And then in the, in the last line, she get dick in the Uber ride number two with fries. And of course, there's ride fries, the U and Uber and two U two. And that is it for today's session of critical rap theory. Uh, as always, hit me up in the comments and tell me what you think. Peace. Y'all stay true.